Cool, so I have the Akai MPX-8 sitting here in front of me. This is a portable sample player. Plug it into a power bank, plug your headphones in, put your own samples on an SD card, and uh, you can play this anywhere you want. So I really like that, not having, not needing a computer to play finger drumming. Um, it's just the pads aren't as good as some of the other pad controllers out there, but it still does the job. So we're going to learn a couple of new concepts today. The first one's called a fill. It's where we replace part of the beat with uh, something different. So let's just start a beat. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and So you can see where I replace the three and four end with just some snare hits. Um, and you can do almost anything you want as long as you can return back to the symbol on the one. Um, and that's a typical way to end a fill to return to the symbol. You don't have to, but it's a cool way to end it. Um, so let's try replacing the whole bar now. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. See? And you can do whatever you want. You can just make it up as you go along and hit that symbol on the one. If you make it too complicated, you might miss the one. You might lose your timing, so you can keep it simple at first. Um, and then you can also use a metronome uh, to do more complicated fills, and we might do that in another lesson, um, but that's enough to learn for now. Now, let's move on to my favourite concept, it's called a triplet. That's where we play three notes in the same time we'd normally play two. So instead of one and two and three and four and, we go one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Obviously you might want to slow it down to when you first learn it, so you one, Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And once you've practiced that for long enough, you can start to do it without even thinking about it. Okay, and then you can add a little bits to it, so. So I did two kick hits in the same time I was doing three hi-hat hits then. Um, so you obviously you need to use that three to two to three polyrhythm we learnt before. So um, and once you've practiced that long enough slowly, you can start to put it in the middle of the beat. So then you might start off really slow to put it in the middle of the beat. So two, three, one, two, three, one. Build it up to this speed. Um, cool. So that's probably enough for one lesson now. Uh, there's plenty of hard things to move on, to go on with now in practice. So I'll see you in the next one.